My wife, Kath, has put an order in for two bedside tables, so that's what I'm going to make in this video. I started out designing them in SketchUp, and although I liked the design, I decided to spend a couple of hours making one out of plywood to make sure I liked the proportions. I designed it this way so the drawer joint stays exposed when the drawer shut. I'm pretty happy with it, but I may make a couple of changes, and I will make the legs a little bit thicker. For the legs, I'm going to use black wattle. I bought this pack of it a few months ago for a couple of bigger upcoming projects, and one of those is going to be a kitchen island. The top rails of the leg assemblies are done, now I need to cut the mitres on top of the legs. The front mitre is 40 degrees and the back mitre is 45 degrees. Here I'm cutting the front legs to length, I'm cutting those off at 10 degrees and the back legs I cut off square at 90 degrees. To make the legs less chunky and more pleasing to the eye, I'm going to taper them. This could be done on the table saw with a tapering jig. I do have one around here somewhere, but it takes no time at all to do it with the bandsaw. I'm going to join the leg mitres with splines, so here I'm cutting mortises for the splines to fit into. That's the top rails of the leg assemblies done. Now I need to do the mortises on the legs.
that's the legs finished up. I've made a bit of an error. The grain on the splines is running in this direction and I've made plenty of picture frames or things like that in the past and that's plenty strong enough but for a piece of furniture really it should be running this way and that joint then would be super strong. But what I am going to do is I'm going to recut these uh, grooves here and I'm going to put a spline in this way so far in and that'll give that a little bit more strength. It sounds like I'm making excuses but I'm rushing to get this job done because we're going away for a few days and also it's been over 40 degrees in the workshop for the last couple of days and it's difficult to actually think straight. Now the legs are done, I'm going to start working on the top and for that I'm going to use a piece of plywood and I'm going to veneer it and the reason for that, if I use solid wood with the grain running this way it would run in the opposite direction to the legs and the legs get directly attached to that so that joint would want to break apart. You could run it in the opposite direction, it'd look a bit odd but apart from that I'll get expansion this way and then the drawer won't fit properly so that's why I'm going to use plywood and I've got this old pine that I'm going to clean up and make the veneer out of. To stop the veneer from moving around when I glue it, I put a couple of brad nails in the very edge. There's enough waste there to cut that strip off later on. I probably should have placed the sheet of plastic or something similar between the boards, but they came apart fine anyway. I'll join the legs with floating tenons and I'll start by marking the mortise positions. To give the whole thing more strength I'm adding a piece of plywood to the back. I need to transfer some of those marks around to the opposite side so the mortise references off the top face.
This rail fits underneath the drawer to tie the two front legs together. I haven't tried this before, but putting the mortiser in the vise worked very well on a small part like this. I've marked the centre of the mortise onto the front legs and now I've got this piece of scrap plywood. I'm using it as a guide to position the mortise in the correct place. I've dry fitted it just to make sure that it all goes together but I won't glue it yet. First of all I need to make the drawers. For the drawers I've got some more old pine and hopefully once it's planed up it'll be good enough to use. The pine came out pretty nice and I'll use that for the sides of the drawer and for the backs. For the front of the drawers I've prepared some more black wattle. For the drawer joints I'm going to use the square nap joint. If you haven't already seen I made a video about that a while back and I'll put a link above if you're interested. I'm marking the back of the workpiece just to reduce any tear out when the mortise bit comes through the other side. The sides are done, they came out pretty good but not quite as good as the ones in the original video where I used camphor laurel. I found the pine was crushing a little bit here and there when the bit was entering but a bit of glue and filler and they should be fine so now I'm going to start the draw fronts. I've just cut the back piece off camera and that fits into those rebates at the back. I didn't do a nap joint at the back. I would have had to use a thicker piece of wood like at the front and there was just no need. Before I glue it all together, I just need to cut a groove around for the drawer bottom.
I need to take a small piece out so that I can fit the plywood back panel in position. I just cut these small veneer pieces on the table saw, leaving the veneer on the outside of the blade away from the fence. There really was a fair amount of sanding, both with the optical sander and sanding by hand, and it took me around about two or three hours all up. I'm drilling a recess for a draw pole and I really should have done that before I assembled the draw but I just forgot to do it at the time. I really need to buy some better forcing the bits. This one burnt the wood a little bit but with some effort it sanded off okay. For the finish I'm using an equal mix of varnish, boiled linseed oil and terps. It did darken and yellow the pine more than I'd hoped but there's not much I can do about it now and I still think it looks pretty good so I'm happy with it.
It's been a while since I made a proper video. I ended up taking a break. I think I needed it. I've recharged the batteries. I'm back at it now, so expect regular videos from now on. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.